after the marvelous career that he had in Madison, including two Final Fours and a National Player of the Year. He got 44 raised up high. Here's what he said to the crowd. When I see that banner go up there, I don't think of myself. I think all my teammates who have been so supportive. Without them, you know, I don't know if I would have been the player that I was at this school and been the player that I could be here. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. What a career he had, huh? Wonderful. And that was the beginning of a wonderful evening in Madison. <laughs> yes, it was. In the first half, the Boilermakers had some turnovers. Brevin Pritzel with the steal and then the layup. And then more from Pritzel, this time finding Brad Davison for the finish. Boilermakers had seven turnovers in the first half. This is the number six team in the country. Now, they do still have Carson Edwards, who was able to get a little bit of production for them offensively, but they were tied at halftime. And everything that Purdue was able to get, even when it was from Carson Edwards, they really Really had to struggle only seven assists on the night for the Boilermakers in the second half a little more from Edwards in fact the Boilermakers have the lead here Carson stretches it to six he had 22 on the day but back came Wisconsin Brad Davison oh look at that look to everyone like he was shooting it but instead he found Khalil Iverson Frank the tank approves second half Ethan Happ in the paint Great move over Vincent Edwards. He had 15 points in the second half alone. Then, Davison. Oh, the long two is good. And the Badgers are up by three. Half with two minutes to go. Backing down, Isaac Haas gets the roll. And Wisconsin gets the win. The fans storm the court, and the Badgers take it 57 to 53. Happ ends up with a double double of 21 and 12. The win of the season for Wisconsin. Meanwhile, for Purdue, they hit only four three pointers all game long. Four of 17 from the line, and only had 53 points total. Jay Wilson was in Madison for postgame reaction. Greg Gard. When you play down in West Lafayette, Purdue won by 28. Why was tonight so different? We did a better job defensively. I think, you know, we've got a young group that's trying to figure things out. And sometimes when you get whacked by almost 30, it's a good lesson, good experience. And we, we were really good defensively tonight. We, hopefully we can shoot the ball better, especially the first half. But uh, give our kids a ton of credit. They've kept battling. They've, they've had to persevere through a lot this year, and I'm really proud of them. A lot of people have given up on us, but we haven't given up on ourselves. We still show up every practice, work as hard as we can, and it has been a struggle. Uh, you know, but all teams go through adversity. And we just had to stick together, play for one another, and we wanted to uh, win this one for Frank just because of how well he represented our university just as a player and as a person. So we want to do it for him and everyone who came before us as well. It was one of those games where you kind of, things weren't going your way, and you got to kind of, you got to grind it out. And, you know, for a while, um, you know, we did some good things, I thought, on the defensive end, obviously. Um, but offensively, we just never could get on track.